let you see. Bro, she's thick, though. Clap her cheeks like your daddy did. <laughs>
Yo, y'all getting mad at me for no reason. What did I even do? Wait, that's not it. Going through here. Oh my god, like ready to pass what? out. What? Bro, y'all fucking hating on outsiders or something. What is wrong with you people? Y'all hating on me for no reason. Chill the fuck out. What? Private area! Bro! Oh, man. Fuck out of here. I guess it's just sit. Oh, okay, now we can sleep. Alright, yeah, our guy's pretty tired. Oh, you see the pig there for us being a fat ass. Alright, uh, I guess let's sleep until, uh, for 10 hours. Hell, we could probably sleep for a whole 24 and they won't give a shit. Ooh, m my lady is visiting us midnight. Yes? It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy, did I? Uh, my lady, uh, um, no, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. It's just what you need to help you sleep. My lady, um, thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a servant. She wants the dick. But to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. But I'm telling you. While saying my prayers, how awful <laughs> it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace, to let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry, I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it. If you feel like it. Insert dramatic flashback. No? Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> all right, Henry, you didn't tell us about your, um, magician axe now, did you? You might be right, my lady. I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on some errands. I went to the tavern for an met my young. I went to the click to I met my friends and we went to teach them. I went to the tavern to buy ale for father. I know it's a job for a groom, but I didn't mind. Because my girl Bianca was there. I courted her a while and we agreed to meet in the evening. But our meeting was never to happen. I don't like that he's not appearing on the screen. When I'd done all the errands, I headed what back home. I promised father I'd help him with his work and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Roger. <laughs> he's sitting on nothing. Uh... I came to look at the sword. I've been secretly learning sword fighting. Mm. No, nah, she doesn't like fighting. Forge. I don't think so. On that particular day, I asked him if he'd teach me swordsmanship. He said no. He said it's better for a man to keep his head on his shoulders than lose it over some pointless heroism. If only you'd known what fate had in store for us. Oh. But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. I saw smoke on the horizon. There was a huge horde of attackers, Cubans, and Sigismund's army. I saw smoke on the horizon from a village Sigismund pillaged on the way to our town, which was soon to meet the same fate. God have mercy. And then death descended on Scalitz. 
These guys folk fled to the castle. I saw them kill my girl Bianca. Uh, I tried to fight back, but he fell. Dooch. What? I saw Deutsch trying to defend himself. Oh. The man who'd mocked King Wenceslas as a drunkard and praised Sigismund now stood facing his soldiers with nothing but a pitchfork, trying to protect his wife and son. It was hopeless. He slaughtered them all. That's so sad. I ran to the castle like our neighbours to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. Okay, the Kimmies were plundering the village. The siege and scouts began. Okay. I wasn't safe yet. The Cumans were going from house to house below the castle, looting and then torching them. They encircled the castle, and it was clear they could spot me at any moment. May God punish them. Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of Cuman savages who planned to violate her. I had Sir Radzik's sword, and even though there were several of them and they were better armed, I had to try and save her. I wanted there to be at least one person I'd helped. And I succeeded, even though it almost cost me my life. After that, I stole a horse from them and rode off. Like a valiant knight. I'll never forget the horror. Leveling up, what's up? It will haunt me for the rest of my life. That's terrible. How could something like that happen? At least he got fixed. God alone knows why he let such things happen. Oh, you poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Although in comparison to the horrors you went through. I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Now I'm a lonely yeah. widow, looking for some my young dick. My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Probislavets, and killed many of our men, even the old Chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old and all of a sudden, I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom. And only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. And was Harville punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Sir Divish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly. Only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Would that that were true, lad. 
Would it were true. <coughs> Milf. <coughs> but what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you see. Bro, she's sick, though. Clap her cheeks like your I daddy did. <coughs> little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Good night, my lady. <sighs> wow, that was a lot of um, talking. <laughs> Whoa. Henry, wake up. You don't want to miss this. What is it? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Scallops. Damn, bro, you gotta wake me up in the middle of the night? God damn, bro. Go to the battlements via the gateway stair. Oh, right, all right, I remember now. Uh, what's his face? Uh, the dude we were making the sword for, I believe, is approaching. Take the torch from the table. Uh, eat. I don't know why I'm having an issue with these. Uh, you know, torture. Hold one. Even better, using Nighthawk potion. Oh shit, we got Skyrim level. What the? <laughs> Yo, what is up with the? Oh, we have it. My boy, put that away. Put your sword away. The fuck is wrong with you? Pretty sure you can get in trouble for that. Hold up. What the? <laughs> Why do we have a poor quality arrow? Okay, I don't know. Maybe that's supposed to happen. Maybe those sword's supposed to be out. Okay, um... Because it doesn't seem... Like, it's not equipped, so I don't know. Go to the battlements via the gateway stairs, which are up here. Not that I'm spoiling for a fight, but... I didn't get to read that. Nice. Hello, my brothers. I wonder if I just stripped, slashed a bitch, what would happen? Draw weapon, draw weapon, cause pure weapon. Even call it guard. I didn't pull the weapon out, though. It told me to click one to open up, to take out the fucking torch, but it puts it away. Uh, puts the hey, sword away. Like, down what the What's going on? What's going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmud in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scouts. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The Scouts give his scent to Scouts to spy on Sigismund. Said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And so Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spies say? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here. Won't we? I feel like mercenaries wouldn't be willing to put their lives on the line, though. <laughs> like, oftentimes in movies and games, they are, but realistically, they're getting paid to oh! win. Or to fight. They don't get paid Who if they die. All his minions? Who else, Robert? Sir Antig. What a relief. Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Dimish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Rantic, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this Tempest is a godsend for me and my men. 
As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slick throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave young man. But tell me, friend, how on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left to storm into the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. Well, what will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Scalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? But sir! Quiet! I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish, make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. <laughs> I've seen you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend. And good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will. And good luck to you and your people, too. These are dark times. Move out! Alright, so honestly, like, I don't trust him. Like, he seems like a really nice guy and everything, but I feel like he's going to betray us later. Like, because everything about him in the beginning just seems really fishy. Like, it, seems, it sounds like he's working with Sigismund and all that shit. Because, like... Just the circumstances of how he gets away, how he talks, like, ooh, we'll meet when it's more favorable. It Sword seems just like he's being uh, sketchy, I if guess. If I catch anyone boozing, playing dice, or slacking off, I'll personally break every bone in his body. I want you to keep a close eye on everything nearby. Sigismund will surely have sent spies, and likely men as well, to follow the Scalitz people. Now he knows they've fled. Keep your eyes peeled and report everything to me at once. Understood? I I <laughs> just all walk off. <laughs> What's up, bro? Can I be of help? What is it you need? Why did you say it like that? I could that? use an extra pair of eyes. Yours are key. Will you keep watch for the battlements with my men? Is that a request or an order? I'd rather it was a request you answered yesterday. Of course I'll help. I have to pay you back somehow after all you've done for me. Why would you Glad even you. ask that then? And don't worry. <laughs> I'll tell the men to relieve you later. Then Lord watch over you. Okay. Uh, Alright, so what we're pretty much supposed to do, I believe, is actually escape, but <laughs> we're going to wait on that. Um, but for now, my brothers, we are good. Bro, that punch, though. Oh, yeah. This pump, this pump, this pump. Holy jeez. Uh, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, bitches.